four rightly guided caliphs. The life of Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu. In the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Hazrat Abu Bakr was a childhood friend of our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He used to meet him every day. Since his childhood, he was such a decent and noble person. He was never ever interested in the worship of idols. From men, he was the first person who accepted Islam and helped our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, at every step. According to our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, whenever I offered to accept Islam, all people hesitated even for a while, but it was Abu Bakr who never hesitated even for a second and accepted Islam. A true friend of Muhammad, peace be upon him. He was a true friend of Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Once our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that he is my true friend. When all Arab was against me, he is who helped me a lot. He is who gave me shelter and favored me by all means. Migration to Medina When Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, received the orders from Allah to move to Medina, it was Hazrat Abu Bakr who escorted him in his traveling. He stayed with Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the cave of Thor. In the battles He took part in the battle with Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He took part in the battle of Badr the Battle of Khaybar, the Battle of Trunk, and the Battle of Uhud. Led Namaz in the life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. When in last days of Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, could not lead for Namaz, he asked Hazrat Abu Bakr to lead in Namaz. Hazrat Abu Bakr led Namaz about 15 to 16 times in the life of Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Election as a Caliph when it was announced that Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has passed away, all were worried. Ansar were saying that Caliph should be from them, while the opinion of Hazrat Umar was that new Caliph should be from the tribe of Quraysh, as Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was from Quraysh. In that time, Hazrat Umar announced that Abu Bakr is the Caliph of the Muslims. After being elected as Caliph, Hazrat Abu Bakr took many steps which strengthened Islam. There were some false prophets emerged and claimed their prophethood. Hazrat Abu Bakr announced jihad against them. Some people refused to give zakat. Hazrat Abu Bakr announced jihad against them too. He sent those groups to jihad who were ordered by the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Sending Hazrat Usama bin Zaid on the battle. Our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ordered a group of Muslims under the command of Hazrat Usama bin Zaid to go to jihad. Unfortunately, just after two days of this order of jihad, our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, left this world. Then this group of Muslim came back to Medina. Has Abu Bakr sent this group back to jihad? He said that our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has issued the order for jihad. And how can I stop an order issued by our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Battles with the rebels in the time of our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, there were some tribes who embraced Islam, but when he passed away, those tribes became rebel. Some of them announced their false prophethood. Usalma was also one of them. He married a woman named Sujah, who also claimed to be a prophetess. Hazrat Abu Bakr sent force to fight against these false prophets and some others who claimed false prophethood and defeated all of them. Compilation of the Holy Quran While fighting against rebels, there were many people who were Hafazul Quran, embraced martyrdom. It was an alarming situation for Muslims as the Quran was not compiled in the form of a book. Hazrat Abu Bakr asked Hazrat Zaid bin Sabit to compile the Holy Quran. Hazrat Zaid bin Sabit worked very hard and compiled the Holy Quran in the form of a book called Mus'haf. After that, the third caliph, Hazrat Usman made different copies of this Mus'haf and sent to the governors of different areas of the Islamic State. The Life of Hazrat Umar Hazrat Umar bin Khattab was the second caliph of the Muslims. He succeeded to the caliphate in 13 Hijri after the sad demise of Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq. He was nominated by Hazrat Abu Bakr. Early Life 
He was one of those 17 people of Mecca who were able to read and write before the emergence of Islam when our Holy Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him announced his prophethood and invited people to accept Islam, Hazrat Umar refused to accept while some of his family members like his sister and brother-in-law accepted Islam at very early stage. Our Holy Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him prayed to Allah to strengthen Islam through Umar bin Hasham or Umar bin Khattab. His prayer was accepted in the favor of Hazrat Umar bin Khattab. Acceptance of Islam Once he decided to kill our Holy Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him but someone from his family informed him that his brother-in-law and sister had already accepted Islam. He reached to his sister's house where he met his sister and her husband, but they clearly said, we can't leave Islam. Then Hazrat Umar listened some verses of Holy Quran there and decided to accept Islam. After that, he announced in the streets of Mecca that I, Umar bin Khattab, has embraced Islam and now I am follower of Muhammad, peace be upon him. The nomination of Hazrat Abu Bakr as first caliph. When our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, left this world, all of his companions were sad and none was able to lead. In that crucial time, Hazrat Umar Farooq who nominated Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq as the first caliph and Amir al muminin The nomination of Hazrat Umar Farooq as second caliph. The first caliph, Hazrat Abu Bakr, nominated Hazrat Umar as second caliph in his life. Hazrat Umar Farooq and Expansion of Islam Hazrat Umar's ruling time is considered a golden era of Muslim history. The Islamic rule expanded till Syria, Iraq, Persia and Egypt. He built military cantonment areas out of the cities and ordered all the soldiers to visit home for a minimum 10 days after every 3 or 4 months. Conquest of Jerusalem The Muslim forces conquered the Jerusalem in 16 Hijri after the Battle of Yarmouk. The citizens of Jerusalem offered to hand over the keys to the Caliph. When Hazrat Umar Farooq visited the Jerusalem, he was walking while his slave was on the camel back because it was his turn to sit on the camel. That was another example of his justice. Other Services for Islam he started the social security system and implemented it in the whole state. The benefits of the social security system were started for infants from day one. He appointed judges, qazis in the courts while considering their family backgrounds and offered them high remunerations as well to prevent them from the bribe. When the Muslim state expanded a lot, he divided it into different provinces. He appointed different governors to those areas and asked them to ensure the security of local people. When non-Muslims agreed to give jizya, tax, he ensured their security of lives and property. For old age citizens, he didn't discriminate against any Muslim or non-Muslim. He continued the system of majlis shura which was started by our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and continued by the first caliph, Hazrat Abu Bakr. Appointment of the third caliph Hazrat Umar Farooq formed a committee of six people who were companions of our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and asked them to decide the next caliph within from them. After the decision of the committee, Hazrat Usman was announced to be the next caliph of the Muslims. The life of Hazrat Usman anhu. Early life Hazrat Usman bin Affan was from a rich family of Makkah. He belonged to Banu Umayya clan of Quraysh. He is considered as the fifth person who accepted Islam. He holds three titles as Ghani, Zunnuran, and Jamil al Quran. He is called Zunnuran as he married to the two daughters of our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. First, he married to Hazrat Rukayya and after her demise with Hazrat Umm Kulsum. He was a literate person. It is because he was appointed as a scribe of the Holy Quran by the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Initial services for Islam in his pre-Caliph life Two migrations Hazrat Usman anhu two times participated in the migration, first towards Abyssinia and then towards Medina. Zunnuran He married two daughters of our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, first with Hazrat Rukayya anha, then after her sad demise, 
He married to Hazrat Umm Kulthum radiyallahu ta'ala anha. Because of his two marriages with the daughters of our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he is called Zulun Nuran, the person with two lights. Decency He was famous for his decency and honor. Our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, liked his decency. Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, once said that even angels respect and admire the decency of Usman radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. Bethe Rizwan In 6 Hijri, Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was proceeding to Mecca when he heard that people of Mecca are preparing themselves for war. He asked Hazrat Usman to start negotiation with them. Then a rumor broke out that Usman was martyred by Quraysh. At this incident, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, called his companions and took a pledge from them for the revenge of Usman's martyrdom. This event is known as Batirizwan in the books of history. Generosity The generosity of Hazrat Usman was famous all over the Mecca and Medina. He helped Muslims many times with his wealth. After migration to Medina, there was a scarcity of drinking water. Hazrat Usman purchased a wealth from a Jew and donated it to the Muslims. Election as Caliph Hazrat Umar anhu formulated a committee to finalize the name of the new Caliph. One member of that committee met with the various people of Medina. Following the suggestions and opinion of people of Medina, Hazrat Usman anhu was nominated as third Caliph of the Muslims. Services as Caliph Compilation of the Holy Quran When Hazrat Usman anhu became Caliph, the Islamic boundaries have been expanded to larger areas and many new areas were added in the Islamic territories. It has become important to compile the Holy Quran. Hazrat Usman anhu took the responsibility and compiled the Holy Quran and sent one authentic copy with the seal of Caliphate to the different areas of the Islamic State. Established the first Muslim Navy In the time of Hazrat Usman anhu. The first Muslim navy was established to help Muslim forces in water as well. Expansion of Kaaba Although the expansion of the Kaaba was started in the time of second caliph, Hazrat Umar anhu, but completed in the era of Hazrat Usman anhu. Religious services He constructed different mosques and appointed muezzans to offer azans in these mosques. The salaries of muezzans were given by the government. Economic and Welfare Reforms Economic reforms which were started in the time of Hazrat Umar anhu were continued in the time of Hazrat Usman anhu as well. He also constructed many mosques, roads and buildings. In the result of these reforms, prosperity came in the lives of the Muslims. Martyrdom of Hazrat Usman anhu. Hazrat Usman anhu was an honored and decent person. He has never been in the favor of bloodshed in the city of Medina. Rebels entered in Medina when people of Medina were visiting Mecca for Hajj. They entered in the house of Hazrat Usman and brutally attacked on him and martyred when Hazrat Usman was reciting the Holy Quran. The Life of Hazrat Ali Hazrat Ali was the fourth caliph of Muslims. Though his real name was Ali, he was also known as Abu al-Hasan and Abu Turab. He spent his childhood with our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He became the fourth Caliph after the martyrdom of Hazrat Usman. Early Life with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him He spent his early life with our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He was a child when he started to live with our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Conversion to Islam He was the first child who accepted Islam while he was just 10 years old. Once our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was performing namaz with his wife, Hazrat Khadija, Hazrat Ali watched them and then asked what he was doing. Our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, replied that it is the religion of Allah and I also offer you to accept it. First, Hazrat Ali thought, that he should take the advice of his father, but then he remembered that his father has already asked him to follow Muhammad, peace be upon him. He agreed to accept Islam. Hazrat Ali in Battles 
Hazrat Ali took part in the different battles and fought with extreme bravery. He took part in the Battle of Badr, where he took part from the start. He took part in the Battle of Uhud and tried his level best to secure our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He took part in the Battle of the Trench, where he defeated Akrama, who was a famous soldier of non-believers, Kuffar. Conquest of Khaybar The Muslim forces were trying to conquer the fort of Khaybar, but failed again and again, as it was a big fort under the control of the Jews, and their leader Marhab was also considered a brave soldier. Once our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, announced that tomorrow I will send a person who will conquer the fort of Khaybar. The next day he gave the commanding flag to Hazrat Ali. Hazrat Ali killed Marhab in a fight and conquered the fort of Khaybar. The Nomination as a Caliph Hazrat Ali was a member of committee that was formed by Hazrat Umar, the second Caliph. This committee was consisting of six members and all were from ten blessed companions. One member took the opinion of the people of Medina about Hazrat Usman and Hazrat Ali. He decided on the basis of the opinions that first Hazrat Usman will be Caliph and after him Hazrat Ali will become Caliph. So, after the martyrdom of Hazrat Usman, Hazrat Ali became Caliph and Amirul Mumineen. Issues after Caliphate When he became Caliph, there was a grouping between Muslims. One group was in favor to take revenge on the martyrdom of Hazrat Usman, while the other group was in favor to follow the Caliph, and it is the responsibility of the Caliph to take revenge from the killers of Hazrat Usman. Some fights were also done on this issue. As there were very difficult conditions that were not favorable to Hazrat Ali, some people didn't give him pledge, and instead to take revenge from the killers of Hazrat Usman first, before any pledge, Hazrat Ali tried his level best to avoid most of the fights between Muslims, but had to do few, except that there were many rebels who had been taken powers, tried their best to fail the caliphate of Hazrat Ali. He controlled most of their activities. Martyrdom there were some rebels who planned to kill Hazrat Ali and some other Muslims who were companions of our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Three of them hid in the mosque. When Hazrat Ali entered the mosque to lead prayer, they attacked him suddenly. Hazrat Ali got martyrdom in this covered act of rebels. Please don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us 